good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another action figure review and it is on the brand new NECA Halloween 2018 remake ultimate Michael Myers figure and I'm super duper excited for it. you can see here on the front we do have the Halloween 2018 poster and this figure is just so freaking nice I've been waiting on this figure for forever and I want to get a, I want to give a huge shout out to NECA for making this review possible and sending us this figure and uh, this this is just so nice. I'm very, very excited for it. I know we just got out of Christmas, guys, and I hope you guys did have a Merry Christmas and you got all the gifts you wanted and you enjoyed your fellowship with your family. But, you know, the Halloween spirit's revving up right now in me because this figure looks incredible. Let's go ahead and get into the packaging. Again, we covered the front window here. Um, on the side, it does say Halloween. It has a picture of Michael at the top. On the back, you get some really, really nice action shots of the figure itself you guys can see i really like this one in the door frame and half there that's just so sick it's just so symbolic and nice at the bottom it does say halloween again on this side it's the same as the other it says halloween got another picture of michael and that pretty much does it for your packaging unless you open up the flappage that we got right here you open up the flappage and you get a really intense really beautiful shot of michael at the top of these stairs on the porch and that is just an epic shot i love this i just think that his mask and the way he stands and his build and the way you can't really see his eyes. I think the silhouette and everything just looks so beautiful. And, of course, you have your action figure over here from NECA looking great in the viewing window. We get some accessories and everything that we're going to get into. But, first of all, we got to crack Michael Myers out of the crazy house here and get him out of his packaging, guys. So, let's go ahead and crack him out. So here we have Michael Myers out of his packaging, guys, and I gotta say, at first glance, I really am in love with this figure. Like, I really love the scaling of this guy. If you have the Mezco figure, you guys will know what I'm talking about. The Mezco figure is really, really small, and we are going to be doing a comparison later on in the video. But this NECA Michael Myers is so nice, and if you guys are already interested in it this far into the video, I think you can pick it up at retails. Uh, like Target. I think Target is the best place to find it if you're looking for it at retail. But online, you want to go to NECA's official eBay or Amazon pages and pick this thing up. They have, uh, it's, it's definitely where you want to go if you want to purchase this thing. And it looks incredible. I'm very, very satisfied with it. You get a ton of great accessories. I can't think of a bad accessory on this guy. And um, I think that it looks excellent. I think they did a great job. But the only way we're going to know for sure is if we take a closer look at Michael. So what we're going to do is cover his accessories and then we'll dive into Michael Myers himself. All right, guys. So taking a closer look at Michael's accessories, again, you do get a ton of stuff here. I guess we can start off with the biggest accessory. That is his sister, Judith Myers' uh, gravestone, the tombstone here. You can see it says our beloved daughter, Judith Myers, her birth date. And then her death day, you got some nice rose stuff going on there. Very nice size. I like the size of it. It scales well. With Michael on the back, it's just, you know, regular gray paint tones. This stuff's all hollowed out, and uh, it has a really good tombstone look. You know, it does look official. Really good realistic look there from NECA. Next up, we have a jack-o'-lantern. What is Halloween without the jack-o'-lantern? And it looks really strong. I really like the sculpt here, and it is battery-operated. You pull out the little uh, piece of paper there, and it activates the battery, and all you have to do is push down on this, and it obviously does light up, so that is a really, really nice touch. I guess I can go ahead and cut off the lights here so you guys can see what it looks like with the lights off, and there's a better look at it there, and you guys can see it gives us pretty good amount of light. I mean, that looks really bad, eh? especially if it was pitch black. I think that you would really be able to see as I cut my hands over it. You guys can really get to a look at what that thing would look like, but really nice jack-o'-lantern piece, and it's really hidden. You know, you just push down on the top, and it works. A very nice job by NECA on that jack-o'-lantern accessory. Next up, we do get some hands. This is the hand that came on the figure out of the packaging, and it is this relaxed hand, but it does have blood all over it. Very nice uh, details on it. We'll go ahead and take a little zoom in. You guys can just see the wrinkles and the blood detail in this hand. Really nice job by NECA. So you do get this figure, uh, this hand. You also get an interchangeable knife-wielding hand, which we saw on the figure already. Uh, you also get a left hand, which has some, some nice skin tone, some nice veins sculpted in there, and some blood. And it is a knife-wielding hand on the left side. We have a more of like a grabbing hand on the left side, so it's got some blood on there. Good vein work by NECA again. NECA always does well on the details, so you guys can see there in that left sort of grabbing hand. And then we have probably my favorite hand, and that is this one where his uh, left two fingers, his ring finger and his pinky finger are uh, torn off or cut off there. 
and it looks so deadly. Look at the scrapes there. You got the blood seeping out. He's bleeding everywhere, and just a wicked looking hand there from NECA. I think that looks so detailed and such a nice job on the paint apps and the sculpt work on this hand. So I like that hand a lot. Then we have his weapons. We do have the hammer accessory, which has blood on the head of it, and they did a good job on the blood there. You also get the wood grain going in, so you do get a hammer accessory. You obviously get his infamous kitchen knife, which is what Michael Myers always uses, so you definitely had to throw in the kitchen knife. It doesn't have any wear and tear. It looks like a brand new kitchen knife. I think it would have been better if they added some paint detail. I don't know how accurate that would be to the movie. Um, I don't really remember there, but I guess you could, depending on what portion of the movie you're on, uh, that would have to depend on the knife there. But we also have this fire poker, and this is the scene, I think, where uh, he just walks in that lady's house when she's looking out the window and just stabs her right through the throat, that wicked-looking scene there. So I think that is what this fire poker is for. It's very light, very flimsy. So I think you could easily snap this in half if you wanted to, but... Uh... Yeah, very flimsy. You also get this really wicked looking head scan. I am not even sure who this is. I don't remember this part of the movie, but his eyes are cut out, his mouth's cut out. Uh, this is also kind of hollow. I think you could actually shove something up in there if you wanted to. Um, I don't know if you wanted to stick the fire poker up in there. You could. It just looks like an older dude that has his uh, eyes cut out and stuff. So that is a very nice head scan there. And then we do have the interchangeable head scan. The one that's on the figure already is the one with his eyes. And then this one is the eyes blacked out. You guys can see in there that uh, the eyes are blacked out. I like this look better just because you don't want... Um, I guess the other one's more official, but if you're trying to get those shadow shots um, of him, you know, underneath the, the lamp post or something and you want him to have that really sinister look, I think you want to go with this head scan. Really like that, but that does it for Michael Myers accessories, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at Michael Myers himself. So taking a closer look at Michael himself, guys, I had to cut off the lights so that you could actually see these details in his mask and everything. And um, I think they did a really fantastic job. I guess faintly you can kind of see uh, underneath his eyes there, you can see Michael's face. And what a great job by NECA on the sculpt work on this. The paint apps are incredible as well. But uh, I tried my best to uh, limit the, the, like I said, with all these lights on, it really drowned out his face. It just looked like a white face. So I really wanted to get that detail in there so you guys could see what we're working with here. And again, NECA always killing it with their paint apps and their sculpt work. I don't know how they do it. They got a really talented team over there. But if we go into the chest, you got his regular jumpsuit, his mechanic suit here. Looking great in the navy color. You got some dirt on there, some wear and tear. You do get some blood up here as well and maybe since uh you know we're not covering the face anymore i can turn on some of these lights and you guys can see some of this detail coming through as i turn on the lights here but uh really nice job by NECA i think they did a fantastic job as they always do you get the wear and tear all through the suit here's the knife wielding hand that we talked about and the left relaxed looking hand but they they always kill it with that detail as far as the blood and the veins and the skin tone is concerned i thought like looking at his hips that he kind of looks like fat or overweight or something but i think when you stand far back it looks a lot better i think that you know it really completes the figure you can see what i'm talking about on the mask now with all the lights on it really drowns him out and he looks weird but uh, going down into the pants, like look at this, over here you can kind of tell he looks a lot more proportioned over here than I don't know what's up with my eyes, but it looks a lot better um, than when I'm looking at it from far away, so I, I don't know what's going on. But getting back into the figure here, looking at the crotch piece, looks good. This is made of rubber for articulation purposes, you know, you can actually stretch that and you don't have to worry about it hindering anything. You also get his pants coming down as part of that mechanic suit. Nice uh, joints are hidden there, the single jointed knees. And then we get his beautiful black boots that look really strong. And uh, just a fantastic figure, man. I'm really excited for it. I think this is definitely their best release of 2018. I think all their Jason releases were great. You know, Chucky was nice. But I think they outdid themselves with this 2018 Halloween Michael Myers. I think it's just over the top and perfect. So now that we've covered Michael himself, guys, let's get into some Michael Myers comparisons. So here is a shot of the brand new NECA Halloween remake 2018 Michael Myers up next to the Mezco 112 Halloween original Michael Myers. And you guys, there's really no comparison. This literally looks like a baby doll figure up next to this. Yeah, you get the cloth, the accessories and everything, but I feel like this figure, if I even move it, it's going to snap in half. And honestly, these figures next, like up next to each other, I easily go with this figure. I love the scale of this guy. Obviously, I just knocked him off balance there. 
But uh, I love the scale of this guy. He, he scales really well with WWE figures. If you, you, know, you just want to do some cool shots like that, it just scales a lot better. It looks way cooler. I, I am overly satisfied with this. Obviously, it's a much different look as far as, you know, this is the 2018 remake and supposedly the sequel to the original, but these figures are obviously not really in scale with each other considering how much this one towers over that one, but what a great looking Halloween NECA figure. I really like this one, guys, but let's move on to some other comparisons. Here we have the brand new NECA Halloween 2018 Michael Myers up next to Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason Voorhees, and then of course Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and you can see Michael just towers over the whole set, guys. We have the big four right here represented, and I think Michael looks the best out of all of them. Um, I think that maybe Freddy comes in at number two, Leatherface at three, and then Jason last. I just don't like this portrayal of Jason. I think that we need a part seven. We need a Kane Hodder Jason in here to really get the big four, in my opinion. I just think that they make him kind of slumped over a little bit. I really like the posture that they have Michael going with here, and uh, the, the build of Freddy and Leatherface looks a lot better. I don't know. It's like they make him look kind of dumpy or uh, just like potato dumpling drunk Buddha body of Jason. I don't know. Really weird. I, I, I want a Kane Hodder Jason figure, and I think that would look a lot better here. But you can see what Michael Myers does look like up next to the other big four. One thing I do want to mention, guys, before we end the review is that the articulation on this guy is absolutely outstanding, particularly in the head scan. You're going to see here, you can literally... Like he can look all the way up, he can look all the way side to side. But this is the this is the money shot right here. Look at this right here. Look at that right there, guys. He can do his signature look to the side. Like look how freaking gorgeous that is. That he can look to the side like that. That is just freaking money. Like look at how gorgeous that looks. You cannot beat that, guys. I had to throw that in to make sure you got. If that didn't sell you on the figure, if I didn't sell you on the figure, the whole video. Being able to do this with it is that's instantly sold. That is a money shot and definitely need to go out and get this figure. But that pretty much does it on today's review of the NECA Halloween 2018 Remake Ultimate Michael Myers figure, guys. Again, this thing is insane. I love the articulation. I love the detail. I think it's a perfect rendition of Michael Myers from the Halloween 2018 Remake. If, again, if you want to pick this thing up, go online, go to NECA's official eBay store or NECA's official Amazon page and pick this thing up. Or you can find it at local retailers such as Target. I think that is literally the only place. I don't think Walmart or anywhere else like that sells it. You may be able to find it at like FYE or other pop culture stores like that. But Target is probably your best try, you know, over there in the movie section or whatever. But again, guys, definitely, you definitely want to grab it. If you're a fan of Michael Myers or if you, you love the movie and you love action figures, I definitely think you want to add this to your collection. It's an epic piece, and if you guys want to see it up next to a WWE figure, we can go ahead and knock that out. Here is a Triple H, and you guys can see he is just above in height of Triple H here. So I guess with women and other figures like that, I think he would scale really well, but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Again, I want to give a huge shout-out to NECA for making this review possible and sending us this figure to review for you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and horror-related figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.